does not teach you how to print a picture with uh, white layer and color layer and varnish layer on the back uh, on the black material like uh, uh, black black wood or black metal or some dark materials. You need to print a white for the layer and also print the varnish on the top of the color layer to get the crystal effect. So we take a picture for for sure. For example, we want to print this picture. From this picture, we can see uh, first uh, there are some trees and some flowers and also some fish. So, for example, if we want to print uh, this picture on the uh, dark material, so first we must print white ink, white layer. So we want to print a full with white ink, and also we want to print this picture with the three D embers result as a uh, real life quality. We want to make the trees, we want to touch the print out, print out picture, the trees and the flowers have uh, the 3D embers result. So how to do it? So first we need to uh, process the picture from Photoshop. So first we open the Photoshop and we load the picture we want to process. <laughs> This picture will load to the Photoshop. Okay. After that, first we need to check to be sure the picture is CMYK model. The CMYK already. Okay. So first that we need to select the layer. This is the layer. And this is the layer after create. So we can first select the select the area we want to print white ink. And this is the color layer, we don't need to do any setting. So first we must use the uh, magic wand tools to select all the area we want to print white. First we, first we create the white channel. And we can use the selecting tools and we choose similar. And also we select, we place the author from the keyboard. And we also keep select another. We place the shift, shift from the keyboard, and we select the fish and all the area we want to print the white layer. So the selected area is printed for Amber's result. And also the words. This is for select the embers result. Okay, so this first after we select, we go to we go to the channel, go to channel, and we go to we can see here CMYK, and then we need to go to the setting here, and we select new spot channel. Must choose the new spot channel. Cannot choose the new channel, new spot channel, and we go to fill the ink for CMYK with the dark. The most the dark, the more the more ink you feel here, the more white ink will coming out, and the better embers result will be print out. And the solidity we put one hundred percent. Okay, so this is the embers area you want to print. We click off, and so we can get here. This the one. Uh, this is the white layer for white ink for embers. And also we want to print the same area for varnish on the top of the color. So we can also in the same way to select the area we want. For example, we want to print the same position. 
And also one more thing, if you want to print here, it's just only the dark area have white ink. But if but because we want to print on the dark material, so also we need to create another area for fear with less ink. So we just uh, go to the selection uh, because the match two words and we select all the white white background and similar. And then we go to select, uh, we go by this one, this one, selection tools, and we go to fear. And here we must remember that, that we must fear less ink, less ink. So the more light, we just fear a little bit lighter, or like this. The more less, the, the, the less color you fear, and the less white ink will be coming out. So maybe by this way. And with fear, now we can see here. So the gray area is printed with less white ink, and the dark black area printed with full white ink, maximum white ink. Then we can get an uh, inverse result, and also we can get the we can cover that the black material by the white less white layer as the gray. Okay, so this is the the white channel. We, we, when we click off the same way here, we can see this the white spot channel to print white ink. The more dark, the more white ink coming out to get a, get a, so we can get a 3D life quality. And then we create a channel for varnish. And also the same way, we can just uh, first click off this and we go to the layer and we select all the area we want to print with, with varnish. For example, we want to print the, just the, the flowers and the fish with varnish. We can make the torrents bigger and we select similar. And also, we can place the, the outer from keyboard and we delete the area we don't want print with varnish. Or we reduce, we control and D, and then we reduce a little bit for the returns, and we put us by 435, and we select again by similar. Okay, and just here with varnish, and also we want to put the, the fish with varnish, so we just uh, Click, uh, we press the shift, shift from the keyboard and we select the fish, the area we want to print with varnish, as this. Okay, so various we get a uh, selection. Then we go to also the, the channel and we go to the selection by new spot channel. And also here, the light ink you fear, some the less much print out. The dark ink you fear, the dark color you fear, the, the more much print out. So we suggest to use the maximal. Same work here, just a fear 100. Also 100. So I'm going to click OK. And OK. Here is the, it's for one issue channel. Okay, then we can get a one issue layer. We click off the same work here. And we can see this is for one issue. And this is for white. And this is for same work here. So this is the, the basic processing procedure to, to process a picture from Photoshop to create a channel for white and also a channel for orange print. And also, if you want to print, you must click on the eyes. If you click off the eyes, it will not print white and orange also. 
So they click be sure of CMYK white to vanish all the channel we are click on and the layers we click on and here and just click off and this must click on the eyes click on the eyes d1 print okay then we go to fire and save as a picture so this picture is for cmyk lc lm and red and varnish it's for for three embers results relax results <clears throat> so this is the ask uh, procedure and also i teach you another way to uh, just print with the uh, grayscale for example i want i don't want to select the area one print and i just want to print a picture like this picture i want to print uh the the white ink the gray scale the white ink signal is the same as the, the color picture the more dark uh earlier the more dark picture the more dark pixel print the more white ink and so we need to create a gray scale to print as gray scale results so i'll teach you how to do first uh, we also go to the channel and the layer and Go to the channel and we delete we delete the, the before the for three embassy and we go to tra channel we must keep the cmyk not not delete we must keep this on and we delete okay this is the normal picture as before so how to process the grayscale white in print so we go to the layer and we uh, go to the channel and we just click on the do, do nothing and we just click on this icon to load as the grayscale okay then we go to uh, choose the second the selection tools and we right click on the mouse and we choose by select inverse Okay, then we go to new spot channel, and also we can fill the ink for white. So this is for white layer. So when we click off the CMYK, we can see this is the gray scale for print white ink. So on the more dark area, this is the dark, the, the dark, the black area print the maximum white ink. And the light area print the less white ink, then we can get a grayscale uh, print quality. Also, we can get three D embers results. And also, we can adjust if you think the grayscale is not enough, the the touch, the kind of feeling is not three D enough. We can go to choose uh, adjustment, pierce. Here we can also first we must be sure we select this web layer and we adjust the curve. The lighter it means less white ink mm. and push up a small white ink and like this a spool of white ink for all area and we can adjust like this to get a better and better white ink uh inverse results. And click OK. And just remember one thing: the the more dark, the more dark show on the screen, the more white ink print out. And also, we can go to uh, the image and we go to uh, show, and also we can adjust the area and darkness, like like Victor result. From this here, also we can adjust the. the Position and uh, quality effect for white ink print. And also for varnish, so if you want to print the floor with varnish, you also do the same way. Uh, select. If you want to print uh, just the, the varnish on the fish and on the flowers, just uh, do the spot channel as, as before but if we want to print the full with varnish okay we just select 
all the area and we go to channel and new spot channel and we this is a very swanish layer any worse is okay okay this is the varnish layer so we can put the full bit varnish on the top of the white layer uh, and then and, and the same white layer and also we click on and we save So this is the same way with white with varnish. It's for gray scale. Print. So these two different methods to adjust the picture, process the picture to get different printing effect. And also Master B have online tutorial video to teach you how to use the Photoshop to get nice Printing quality, nice print results, and also have some uh, ex work experience to share with you. You just uh, keep to focus on Master B YouTube channel. Okay, now after we process the picture and we create the uh, spot channel from Photoshop, then we can start to rip a picture from whip print to print the white ink and varnish by spot channel to print on di in the different material. So first we need to insert the USB dongle key to a computer and then we open the whip print. So first also after we open it, we go to whip print and we go to print the setting and we be sure the print model is Epson SP600 plus UV to to keep it as default, set as default, and then we uh, place new, and we then we go to import import picture that we want to print with white color varnish, such as we loaded the picture after we processed before from Photoshop by this T format. Then we open it, and then we right click. And set the upper side, for example, we put by 300 millimeter. And we must keep the picture inside of the wet area. If we pull the picture like this, so on the out of the position, we cannot print it out. So we just be sure it's inside of the whip editor window. Any position is okay, just be inside the white layer okay then we go to the spot channel and we keep the first stop is white channel white ink channel we keep we choose by spot and keep default one one and density increase if you choose spot then the density increase from zero to one hundred percent is little change but if you choose another image base or other automatically Create the spot, spot color channel so that the, in, the density increase will be effect more, will be more wetness. So normally, we choose spot channel from the, that we create from Photoshop. And then we can go to the hot toning type. We can choose the large to middle dot or the symmetrical model or this one. Normally we choose this, this one and then we choose this one. This one is larger, small, middle, equal dot. And then we bleeding is for anti oblip So normally we just uh, keep as plus, must use plus but not increase. We use plus, manner, we use, uh, sorry, we use uh, manners but not plus, not uh, plus, we use manners. To it to make the edge, the white ink edge, smaller than the color layer. <clears throat> then the white ink will not print overlap. So normally we just uh, set at 0 0.01 or 0 0.5. But if you print, uh, print with a higher resolution and with a small character, a small number, so we need to make it smaller. This just for overlap, anti overlap, white ink overlap. Then we set the another spot color by varnish. So this is the varnish. We also put 
we put it as we choose the model and we also choose the envelope by minus 0.05 millimeter and then press press OK. Then we go to print. And here we also choose the the correct ICC profile by the print the ink model and the resolution, the speed and ink type by soft UV or hot UV. And advanced if you want more dark, so you just click on. And if we want to print our picture is more shiny, less ink, so you can click off. And then we keep a default and then we go to print. So first this is very important because if you choose the wrong ICC profile, then the color the and the print quality will be totally different. And also if you use the wrong ink, for example, you take the ink from the market and the ink is not the take from focus on so the ICC profile also will be totally different. So we strongly recommend you to take the ink and use the current ICC profile to match with the color and print quality from focus. Okay, after you set everything, then we can choose print, click print. And we set the file by test the print file with white and varnish. And then we start processing. The print speed, the, the, lip print, the lip speed is dependent on the wet ink envelope we set. If we set the more by minus 0 0.08, we'll be more slowly. If we make this less by 0 0.01, we'll be more quickly. And also it depends on the picture memory and the size. So now it's finished. After finish, then we can Go to control software and we open the picture and then we can start print the picture on the material by white layer and color on the middle and then varnish on the top of the color layer to print with three kind of inks by spot channel. Hey guys, welcome back to Master B online tutorial video to teach you how to use a UV printer. And this video teach you how to print a nice picture by Focus Alpha to the UV printer. So first we take a, a picture like this. This is the picture, CMY. This is the color picture, and this is a T format. So we want to print this picture out, and we don't want white and varnish. We just want to print with color uh, on a white paper without varnish and white. So. So if you want to print a picture without wet and wet and varnish quality, wet varnish effect, so you just need to load the picture to the RIP software. You don't need to do any setting from Photoshop. So first, this is the T format. And so first we open the RIP software. And also you need to insert the dongle key on your computer before you run in the RIP software. Okay, so after we open it, we can start to load the picture. We click here, input. We find out the picture that we want to print. And this one, we want to print this one, and we just open it. <coughs> and we can keep the original size or custom width as you want. And so the big size too big, so we can right click the mouse and we choose output size. For example, we print it by 200 millimeter, 20 centimeter, and keep constraint ratio. Okay, like this. And here we just must be sure the edge, the picture must the inset of the edge of the the white background. If like this, so on this out of the edge position, we out of the position we will not print out. So we just be sure the picture is inset of the the selection area. But any position is okay, doesn't matter. This position is not means at the print position, just the rip position, so doesn't matter. Okay, so after that, we go to spot color, open here, and the first one is for white channel, and the second one is for varnish. So if we don't want to print white and varnish, and this picture will not do the spot channel from Photoshop, so we just click none, no white ink, and no varnish. 
So if we click off, 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 down, three of three or are close off for now, then this picture processed with just a color color picture without varnish and white. Okay, after that we go to select choose print and we choose the red SEC profile, the color color adjust file, and we choose the Fox 4 and we choose the forward output and also you can choose by mineral, vertical mineral and horizontal mineral to print it as, as a mineral result. And uh, actually we choose the forward output. So in the picture print this first, the lines, the words first, then print on the picture. And when you see on the table, you can see the picture is, is, uh, is forward, not backward. Okay, after that, we just click print. And we select the, the position. We want, for example, we select, we, we save the file to the local disk for desktop. And we, we name the file by Fox. CMYK test. <clears throat> so after we already ripped the file from the loop software, then we open the control software and we go to file and we select the file we want to print. We can go to here file for select the file we want to print or we can open the, the file from this, from the left. Oh, also, we can go to here to open a PRM file and I select the file we want to print. So we set, we choose the file we have to rip, and then we go to. Also, we can do some task setting from here for copies or for the region for select uh, the area we want to print or from sites. Now, also, we can go to ink setting to adjust the ink amount for wet and varnish. The KCMY we must keep no change. If we change the amount for KCMY, the color will be fade, we are not original. So we can only adjust the wet ink limit or the varnish ink limit. And also for the wet ink or varnish, we can also set the, the ink density from here. The more number we put, the more wet ink or varnish we print out. The color we choose one, the white and the oil we can select two or three. But normally keep one is enough. But if we want the more high, more high the density for white and varnish, we can choose two or three from here. So normally we keep as one here. And here just for the ink static, for the ink, ink amount calculation. So after we set, the, the job, then we go to the setting, we can choose the print speed by middle or high speed, the right or left or bad luck, bad luck. And also we can set to print by normal. Normal is for print with case, with, with color, white and varnish by one pass print. Or we can choose by print on color or white or oil or varnish together. And go to spot channel, we must select uh, open the enable and ink limit we can select by 100% or reduce it as you want and the source we, buy, we select by loop for this is for wet channel and this is for spot channel and here we can also select the, the blooding for anti overlap we can select, put the number for example 0 0.1 millimeter is for print the wet it is smaller than the color layer to prevent the wet ink overlap. Then we select the margin we want print. The print, the X margin and the Y margin, we go to print and we select the margin for X position and Y position. And then here, if we click on the Y margin, we start from the, the Y margin position. But if we click off, then the printer will start printing on the current position. After we save everything, then we click save. Save the parameter. After we did the selection, then we can go to choose the file and we click print. Then printer start to print the job. It means here's zero and zero and here's max from zero here and to here. 
and maximum here is 400 and y margin zero from here and at the bottom the back, the back side is maximum 60 so here is x margin here's y margin so we must be sure the margin position plus the picture size cannot be bigger than the table size for this and also the y margin position number plus the job for for heads cannot be bigger than the table size for 600 mm after you set the margin we can start to print first we print a color picture once you once you rip a picture from the rip software and we can be sure if you rip without smooth color by varnish or white layer so we can be sure the colors from the job property we can see the, the colors the color is this, this color so we need to close the white in print just the print with only color and we click print <laughs> and print will start printing Now we just take so just take for sure just print on the paper, and if if you can print on other material, just do it at the same time, just the same way to print on wood, glass, and tile. Also, we will have uh, another video from Master Bishan to teach you how to print on other material like bottle, mugger, and uh, tires, souvenir, gifts. Just be keep focus on the. Uh, must be some online tutorial video. <clears throat> So this picture is, is just a test print picture. You can see the resolution and over that and also the color. The, the color of that, the color of the print result, if you think it's not get the requirements, you can also adjust little adjust from ICC profile or from RIP software because different person the sensitive for the color difference. For example, you see you think that the rate is too red, you can reduce the rate in limit. Okay, after print, we can see the picture that print out by focus up budget. And what we want to see is we want first check the resolution, the verse must be sure it's clear and without uh, without uh, overlap for each colors. Uh, even a small verse we must be focused on if the quality is good.
So this picture we need to first check the resolution, the did the resolution like the words, uh, small words, the bigger big words must be sure it's clear with the higher resolution, and also the color for each like uh, here, a shadow, a shadow and gray scale and face and details and. The colors for each CMYK and grayscale and highlight and the blue uh, blue and the red to check all the colors, the colors and also resolution. If you can get the resolution result and as this ma as master B, congratulations to you. You got good results, so you can start you print your next job. So this is the for test print. Once you get the first machine to test print. And you can see there's no any lines or no any past lines uh, with clear pictures and details and words. Okay, so this is a procedure to print the uh, on the uh, print uh, lights, uh, print a uh, color picture on uh, light material without white and varnish.